Hey guys, hey ladies. I uh, I was gonna do this. I'm live, and uh, I should say this is Stacy, and uh, I actually have a channel. It's called Stacy's Crafty Jam, and uh, but anyway, I'm I'm live in Haystacks Crafty Corner, and um, I thought I would, you know, I did that that live last night, and was and did this this beautiful little clutch bag thingy, and I thought. I would hop on tonight, like I said, I would do, and hey Cheryl, and um, how are you today, sweetheart? Oh, it's been a good day, good day, but I thought I would hop on tonight, I don't know if you saw last night, I think you did, where I did this this bag, and I thought I would hop on and finish it, uh, well, mostly finish it, uh, you know, tonight, show you how I'm going to, it's really self-explanatory, uh, but I made this... Um, uh, this this glue mixture uh, with a three parts uh, school glue and some coffee. See how it's kind of kind of on the brownish side, and that's what I'm going to seal. Well, hello Linda. Well, hello Natalie. How are you, darling? It's good to see you. Look what I've made. This is the uh, clutch bag that I'm going to put uh, the journal in using your gorgeous papers. And um, when I get done with this. Um, this live, I will uh, put the link for this kit on there because you guys just have to, have to, have to, have to get this kit. Um, oh my goodness, it is breathtaking. Uh, this is the back of it. I uh, put a few little elements on there, collaged it. But anyway, made a little clutch bag, and I did this on a live last night. Made a little clutch bag out of a paper bag. And, um, and for those of you, oh, hello Lynn, I I'm here tonight to finish this up. And um, uh, this is going to be my closure, but I got to get it out of the way because I don't want I don't want my little glue mixture. I made look what I lin I made that that three parts glue, just school regular white glue with some coffee. And look, it's kind of on the brown tint. So that's what I'm going to use to seal it with. But before I go, uh, before I do that, I'm going to show y'all. Uh, I want to put this beautiful lace. Uh, on here, uh, isn't that gonna be gorgeous? And the closure is gonna come, you know, kind of in between these two little pieces of the lace. And because this kit is called Antique Lace and Roses, and it's through Line Dot Arrow. Uh, Natalie's on with us right now. And well, uh, oh my gosh, it's two thirty there, girl. You're crazy talk. I did stay up till two o'clock last night myself, so. <laughs> I was entering events in our in in Haystack uh, Crafty Corner, so uh, but anyway, I um, I want to put this lace down, and then uh, you open this bag up. Look, the flap is even. I did the flap, and then this is another part of that lace, but I cut it off. It it came in pieces, and I, I pieced it out because I want to put this piece here. Isn't that gonna be pretty? But I'm gonna do that after it's uh, it's glued after I seal it. Uh, you know, don't want to do that. Well, hello, Ellen. You can make it with us tonight, girl. Good to see you. I made this clutch bag last night, and we're going to seal it with this uh, three parts white glue and uh, uh, a little, just a little bit of coffee. And it made this uh, tent. They uh, Tim Holtz makes a um, a you know like a just like a medium uh, that you can uh, that you can use that's kind of tinted like that. Hello, Mary. How are you, sweetie? Uh, but I don't have that, and you know, I've told y'all a hundred times, I work with what I have, and Lynn uh, tipped me, uh, gave me tip on how to make this this uh, mixture, and I thought, well, I'm going to add glue to, I'm gonna coffee to it, and, um, you know, uh, you know, add, add a little, add a little, um, I don't know, a little something to this. I hope it's going to turn out the way I want it to. Right, I cut out, I fussy cut, these are part of her kit, aren't they cute? Oh, she's gorgeous with the little girls in her kits and stuff. Uh, but I inked this one kind of dark, and this one not so. And I'm trying, I know, it's just all in the details, right? And I'm trying to decide whether I like the, the darker little t uh, ink, or whether I like the lighter. Or no, that's the darker. And I actually think I like the darker, because she kind of stands out, you know? This one kind of blends. And I like, okay, I've decided. I'm, I'm that final answer. I'm going with that one, and then I want to put down. I love this little fussy cut. 
Uh, this this kit has got like I don't even know, two, three, four pages of fussy cuts. Uh, I'm a I love to fussy cut, and um, and I've I've been I've been cutting. Uh, I like that rose there, and I thought I would put this butterfly there, and I kind of I kind of pieced this before I came on because it gets uh, honestly I'm gonna tell you I I love watching videos I do it all the time. But the thing that, I, I, it's just a personal thing with me, but it's like when somebody's sitting there hem-hawing back and forth, I'm like, okay, just pick it, do it, you know? <laughs> but that's just Stacy. So maybe y'all enjoy that, you know, just watching the process, you know? But I think I like this little collage of, of, of stamps there. And I was thinking I would put this little word believe over here. And that's what I think I'm going with. And I'm not going to talk about it no more. I'm going to get to doing it. And uh, let me find my... Well, Stacy, let's get prepared. Oh, here. I want to find my little glue... My little protector glue things, you know? I don't like to get glue all over the place. So, I'm going to lay this stuff down. Hello, Lori. I'm so glad you were on with me tonight. I am finishing up that clutch bag that I started last night and I'm gonna seal it so part of this is gonna be almost like watching paint dry <laughs> but um, I, I, I wanted to come on and show y'all you know the whole process uh, of how and then more to the point the the coffee glue stuff and it actually kind of smells kind of good I saw a lady in the July uh, summer blooms collaboration this I thought this was really neat I don't have any essential oil uh, well I do but it, it it's not the kind I want to use anyway she put essential oils in her glue and it created an atmosphere oh I know well other people say my laugh is is annoying but <laughs> um, she put essential oils in her glue and, you know, had nice music playing. And uh, I'm afraid Facebook will kick me off if I turn on my music. But anyway, uh, I, you know, guys, that is what, that is really a great, you know, tip, you know. Put, just, all she did is put a couple of drops of essential oil in there. And, you know, create, it doesn't stick around or anything. But it did create an atmosphere for her. You know, I think she was using lavender. And I was like, man, I was quite impressed with that little tip. Now, of course, I haven't done it yet, but, um, <laughs> but you know, I pass it on. Okay, you go to sleep, Nathalie. You know, I, 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 I think the world of you. Please get some, please get some good rest, my love. Think, thinking a lot of you, and I'll be in touch. Okay, I am laying down my little elements, and then we'll, um, we'll seal it. But I had. Um, I had been working, fussy cutting this stuff, you know, and uh, I've been playing with the different, uh, yeah, I think crafting is very relaxing. Um, in fact, that's that's how come for me to, because I scrapbook, I've told y'all, I've scrapbooked for like 20 years. At uh, first, that was very, kind of an expensive hobby. <laughs> I got more into collecting and hoarding up supplies than I did working on pages, but anyway, um Back when my son, well, he was my son-in-law, but back when when he passed a year and it's been a year and a few months. Um, in he he passed in August of of um, twenty. Was it twenty? Twenty-one, and um, I that December, uh, I was scrolling through Facebook and I found well, I'd been looking on Pinterest about junk journaling, and I I found a a junk journal Facebook group and I, um, I I just started you know checking them out and you know one thing led to another and I just got addicted to junk journaling oh my gosh and um, and one thing led to another and here I am but it is it that was my 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 release it was my balance and it still is it it, it still is I want to put this butterfly a little higher up because I'm putting there you go 
you be good and sit there. Uh, I'm putting a cinnamon. I, I, I was him on between this one. This is Dream Big, and it has a little pink around it. I like that. Or this one that says Collected, uh, Collect, a uh, Creative Soul. And I want to put it right there uh, on, on the flap. And I think I've decided on Dream Big. Um, I think I like that one. What do y'all think? Um, and then I coffee dyed some cheesecloth. And that's what I'm going to put behind that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it down there. Um, but that can't be done until I seal it. So, I'm just, hey, Carrie, good to see you, sweetie. Um, but for, so far, that this is what I have. And now it's sealing time. So, I have my brush. I like to use foam brushes, but I'm out. And I went up to the store to get one, to get, uh, well, I went to Dollar Tree. <laughs> and um, they didn't have any. I mean, what is up with that? Not in, the not in the automotive section. Not anywhere. So, I just got this brush. It's it's fine. It's not what I wanted to use, but so be it. So, I'm going to see how... Let me do it this way. I'm going to seal this up with this mixture. And I'm not using a whole ton. But, I'm... I, I, well, I think I'm going to like this. I, I wasn't sure. I was not sure about this coffee mixture. But, because I, you know, I don't want to mute this paper too much, you know, because the paper, this kit, oh my gosh, is so beautiful. And I'm going to put that link down there for you guys. Uh, a lot of you probably already have it. But those who don't, hi Tammy, um, I want you to have the opportunity to, to get that. Use line, it's going to be LDA Design Team 40. And Nathalie has, look at the difference between, I don't know if you can see on the on the camera, but here it is with the coffee glue, and here it is without. I, it's, yeah, yeah, this is going to, this is going to be great. Um, but Nathalie has uh, so generously offered 40% for this Design Team thing. And use that code, and I'll put all that in the um, in this in the live video thing in the comments when I am done. I usually do it before, but I don't know. I got to making this coffee stuff and him hawing about all these elements. Which am I going to put on? And I, I forgot to copy her <laughs> her link. Oops, my bad. Okay, I like that. I like that. Oh my gosh. Let me see if y'all can tell the difference. Here it is with the coffee. And here's a, like a before and after. Can y'all see? Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is lovely. This is lovely. This is going to be great. Let me put that. I don't want to get the coffee on the... On the... Hi, Terry. So good to see you, my love. I am using a, a mixture that I made... Uh, that is three parts white glue, uh, just regular school glue, and a little bit of coffee. And I'm making this muted brownish glue stuff. It's like a homemade Mod Podge. And I am sealing this clutch bag. I'm, I'm making sure not to get too much, you know. Um... But I'm sealing this this paper bag, clutch bag thing, with this glue mixture. I would I was going to use just regular Mod Podge, but you know it. Well, I'm a, I'm I'm assuming this is probably going to leave a shine. You know how Mod Podge does. You can get the um, the Mod Podge that's matted. You know it's got the matte finish. But I, I said this before. I'll say it again. I work with what I have, and I don't happen to have that. So, gosh, listen to my voice. I don't know what's going on. Our weather here in Texas cannot cooperate. But it has been beautiful, you know. Um, considering, you know, what it could be. 
So, but, you know, uh, like I said, this is uh, watching me brush on some glue mixture. But I told y'all last night, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And I told y'all last night I would come on and wrap this up with, you know. And so here I am. Here I am. And... And you see it trying to buckle, but it's been my experience that it it works itself out. I do this on playing cards and stuff, and I'm having to be real careful to leave this this seam bonding um, out of the way. Uh, but it's been my experience that it works itself out. Worst case scenario. I'll put it underneath a bunch of books <laughs> and uh, flatten it out. But I've always found that it that even when I do it on playing cards, uh, this glue mixture, that it it flattens out. Yeah, that the first video or the first live is going to be under the featured tabs of uh, Haystacks Crafty Corner up there at the top when you first come on the page and um, and you know I did put uh, the link to the kit there too so if anybody's like oh I gotta get it right this second you know you can you can pull it up that way so there's that and I have this other flat part here to do but I can't do it right now because this is drying and I'm gonna keep making sure that this doesn't stick down gosh wouldn't that be horrible but I'm liking the way this is this looks I sure made a lot of glue for just a little bit of stuff I'm gonna put it in a jar and save it and use it other times but that is yeah this was gonna be really quick that's all there is to it um, you know making the clutch bag is the the you know the biggest or the not the biggest but the the first part and here is all you do, and for those of you who missed last night, you take, this is a regular paper sack that basically you put your, put your hand in here like so, and you'll spread it out, you know, spread it out all the, all the way, and then you'll, you'll work your fingers in to where you're smishing this, uh, the corner and to have it look, I don't want that to sit on my glue, to have it look like that. And then this is going to get glued together. This will get glued together. And then this folds up. And this is glued, right? And then there's your clutch bag. And that's all there is to that. But that's that, Terry, is the video from, from I made this last night on that, on that video. And then I collaged all of the gorgeous papers. And Terry, I know you got this kit last night. So I used all of those gorgeous papers and uh, collaged on here. You don't, you know, obviously you don't have to collage. I, I like, I, I love a rip and tear. <laughs> I, I really love it. And um, I collaged. But you could go with solid, you know, solid pieces. And you don't have to embellish or whatever. I'm going to, when this dries, I'm going to put my trims that I, I showed y'all. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the front of the bag, and I'm going to put that uh, right on, well, what if I did it on the flap? I don't know. See, now I'm thinking. Uh, but I'm going to put that on there, too. And then I did put together, I'll show you all this, too. I did put together my, my the start of my signatures. These are the signature pages, uh, I mean, yeah, like the journal pages in her kit. And um, I, I did the, like the coffee, coffee dye on the back, and uh, these are the journal pages. And uh, there's like I think there's there's like five of them. I like this one that's all graph, you know, got your lines on it. And then here is another. I I know rip. I love ripping and tearing. And here is another one. And. Uh, that's uh, this is I, I really like this one and the little girl with the little puppy 
and those are the journal pages. But since I'm making a junk mail envelope uh, journal, it this doesn't fit in here. So what should a girl do? Uh, it's too short, you know. It's too wide. I don't want to cut the page off because look how much I would have to cut off. So, uh, I mean, I'm eventually going to have to do that. But if I was going to cut something, I would cut on this side, right? Doesn't that make more sense? So, what I did is, hey, Tabitha, this will be my journal, that I cover to the journal. And all I did is put two envelopes, put the flaps inside each other. And then I'll have a window here. I'll, I'll put something in the window. And then it's got a window back here, and I'll put something in the window. And I might even make a pocket out of out of this this uh, cover page, or both, maybe. Hadn't decided that yet. But these are the journal pages that um, I cut or I tore to fit, and they'll fit down in here like so. And these are I just use coffee dye and avocado dye papers, and I like the pink and the browns. Y'all know I like that. And um, these, this is going to be the, the journal pages. And then there'll be some other, maybe, maybe some other stuff in there too. But I'm going to take these journal pages and I'm going to rip and tear. Especially that. Isn't that gorgeous? I wonder what that says. I'll have to ask, ask Nathalie. But I'm going to rip and tear. And I'm going to put those on these pages along with all the pockets and the other stuff. I may have too many pages. I'll have to look and see. Uh, there's 10 here. Um, because it can't be too fat. Because I've got to have room to embellish these pages. So I'm going to have to have room for the pockets and for the tags that are going to go in the pockets and the cards. So, you know, there's a lot of thought going on here. Uh, Y'all can probably smell burning rubber right now. Uh, but Because <laughs> that's what happens when my brain goes... But that's where we're at, and I wanted to do it. It, it was a, just going to be a real quick thing tonight. Just hop on and show y'all, you know, this three parts um, white glue and uh, just a little bit of coffee. Um, uh, I don't think I used even quite the the one part water because it's supposed to be three parts white glue, one part water. But I I left mine a little tad on the thick side, and. Um, but I'm going to have to sit here and babysit this so that my seam binding don't glue down. Um, I could put some wax. I don't have any wax paper, though. Or, I, could, I don't know. I'll figure that out. Maybe I want to sit here and babysit it. But you see how it's starting to curl a little bit. But it's going to work itself out. It, it will. And then I'll have to... See, it's already almost dry. And uh, then I'll have to do this. I'll have to seal this part. And then we'll fold it all up. And I'll put the trim on, and I'm going to take it to my daughter's house, and I'm going to get her to sew all around it. And that be gorgeous? And I'm, uh, I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to do a straight, if I'm going to have her do a straight stitch or a zigzag stitch. I hadn't decided yet. Yeah, I can, well, I got my, I got my little thingy here. I don't know who wants to listen to that, right? I don't know. Is that loud? Is that loud, girls? At least let me dry right here where the where the seam binding goes, you know. Thank you, Lynn. I just need you in my life, little little lady. Yeah, I could tie the, the flaps. You're, that's a good point. Yeah, I'd, I probably do. I, I got a I got a little thingy right here that I could do that to. It's not loud. It sound, it feels loud up on my end. But that was all there was to it tonight. And I'm going to finish um, sealing this. And then I'll, I'm excited about taking it to my daughter's to get it sewed. And then I have asked Santa for a sewing machine for Christmas. So we'll see. But I also want a crocodile and a uh, guillotine. So I'm, I'm, I'm like pushing it. <laughs> I am pushing it. But I think I'll buy the crocodile myself, actually. You know? 
it's I, I, it's not that much. In fact, I think I've taught myself into buying it next month. <laughs> so, let's see. Aren't you just a aren't you just a smart fart, Lynn? But this is I can see this is trying to come up, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do something about that. Let me see. Here I go again. So I'll I'll have to I'll have to get that heat gun going again. Cause that's where I wear that. Well, I could have it going the other direction. Do I have any other pieces coming up? Yes, I do. I was real careful because I didn't want to get on that seam binding. But this is my closure, you know. So I had to I had to think first on that. But hey, Tab, can you can you tell? Can you see the 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 brownish tint? But it's not a brown, but it's a I don't know. It looks good. It's a real vintage tint. I like this. I like this. I'm 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 pleased. And you can ask Tabitha. Very rarely do I go. Oh, I like this. I I, I it takes me like a week or so to go. Oh, I like it. The, my very first knee, knee jerk re reaction is. Oh, I don't like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it away. I do that. Every project. Every single one. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but this one, I, I, you know, hey, I'm, I think I'm liking it. I think I am. But um, that's all there is to this, girls. I don't want to keep y'all too long. I, um, I will work on my signature tonight. I'm probably going to stay up a little bit late and uh, work on that. And uh, But see, this is... We're already dry, except for the part that I just redid, and uh, it dries fast. And um, but you know, and, and Lynn was saying last night, and really, hi Angela, really, really good point. Uh, use your, um, you know how your your Tim Holtz uh, comes in those little, um, the ink comes in those little bottles. To like refill your your pads with or whatnot, she uses those, uh, or I guess any liquid ink really, uh, but she uses those in in her in her glue mixture, and uh, tints it all kinds of colors. So I mean, you can just get all crazy with it, and really come up with some some neat neat kind of colored glue, you know. But I'm gonna put this. I, I made way too much, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a jar and save it. And use it on other projects. So, but this is a project that I that I, I think I'm going to be. I really I really put a lot of thought into it. Um, I've been I've been wanting to do this because I knew for a month that this was what I was going to work with, and I'm just been thinking and thinking and thinking, and um, and I I knew that this was this was the idea that that really, I mean I was all fired up about it. But I was fired up about that pumpkin too, and I'm gonna tell you what, I almost threw that pumpkin away at least three times. <laughs> I did. I was like, oh my gosh. But it turned out it turned out kind of cute. And uh, but this this one's gonna be gorgeous. I'm gonna like this. Okay, this is getting on my nerves. That's on my last nerve. All right, what did you say? Okay, the brown pink. Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree. I have to agree. Well, this is all dry. I'm going to be able... Um, well, you know what? We're good. So I'll be able to seal this part too. So let's just do it. Y'all can watch paint dry here. But anyway... I, now, oh, while I'm while I'm thinking about it, I got, I got two things I want to say. Um... First off, Fridays, we, well, no, I have three things. <laughs> Will I ever stop talking? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. Y'all got to love me. You do. Or, or you don't. You know, that's true. Um, Fridays, we have open mic uh, Friday. And that means it's kind of like, you know, where you can get up and do your stand-up comedy. 
uh, which my crafting sometimes is just that. But on Fridays in our group, uh, Haystacks Crafty Corner, we have open day for lives. And we are so hoping that you ladies will turn it on and get to crafting. And if there is no set schedule. Uh, if, if two people happen to be on at the same time, don't worry about that. We can always catch replays. Not a problem. Ladies love to, to get on and, and see the lives. And I'm telling y'all, it, it's you do one, and, and I, I promise, <laughs> you will be completely addicted. It is fun. So uh, I would love to see y'all come on Friday and do lives. Um, the other thing is I entered some events, and if you haven't seen them, go check them out. There's some kind of fun ones, I think. I think, And uh, we're not going to have like a whole, a whole slew of them. Uh, we're going to try to keep everything manageable. And, uh, but we've got, you know, Manic Monday, uh, tag, you know, the person above you thing. We've got, uh, we do have tag, uh, it's called Tag Time Thursdays. Uh, I entered those in last night. And we've got the Friday thing. We've got the Wish List Wednesday. And then I entered in a couple of other, just a couple of events, Tuxedo Pockets and Slider Gift Card Holder things. And I'll do tutorials on those. And, uh, and then the last thing. And then I will shut up. I promise. Um, guys, I, I never talk about my channel. Uh, Stacy's Crafty Jam. But I, I am trying to get to 250 subscribers. I am a small channel. Uh, but it would be fun. I, I mean, I'm, I'm talking like fun. If I could get to 250 subscribers. you A lot of you may be subscribers already. Uh, but maybe you have friends that are not. Or a dog that is not. No, I'm kidding. Um... You know, I, w I would love it. And if y'all can help me get there, uh, oh my gosh, I, I don't know. I would, I I'll shut up if you, if you do. Now, <laughs> um, anyway, I, I wanted to mention that. And uh, you guys, uh, you all inspire me so much. I love y'all so much. And I'm so proud uh, that, that we can all be together and have, have fun together. And don't forget about Friday Lives. And uh, I'm done. I'm done. I I'll be quiet. I love y'all so much. The name... Of my channel is Stacy's Crafty Jam. Uh, the name of this kit is Antique uh, Lace and Roses. And uh, I don't know. The, I think the, I think those are the names that, that I've mentioned tonight. But um, I, I but like I was saying, I, I cannot thank y'all enough for tuning in and for putting up with me. Uh, I'm so excited about uh, you know posts on the on the group. Y'all are rocking it, and I love it. And I just show us your work, post your stuff, uh, post what you're doing, uh, because it is such. I learn something from every single body that posts something. Um, a, you know, a little little color, a little a little thing, just whatever. It's always um, I learn something from every single thing. And uh, so teach me. Oh, thank you, Terry. Oh, all right. So 221. And then I, I, I'm at two, I think, last time I looked. I, I haven't looked today. I don't look every day. Uh, but, um, um, you know, I try to look every day or so, so I can comment on, reply to comments and stuff. And, um, uh, but anyway, that, uh, thank you so much. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm honored. I really am. And uh, I think, thank you all. I'll, I will be quiet now. I, I said I would. I will. I'm done. I will uh, see you all on the page. And uh, uh, if you all need me ever. PM me, and uh, thank y'all. Bye.